Oh, we have a video here. How to prevent ITB issues. ITB, all right. So that's the little thing that runs on your bum. It's a little iliotibial band, runs over here into your knee. And often you get pain just about here. You get pain just about here, and you're pedaling along, and you just it's just unbearable. So if you're getting pain around here or anywhere around your knee, give some little tips. Give some little tips. ITB, I suffered with this a lot. And the, uh, actually, let's tell, tell a little story. Tell a little story. Pull up a little seat. Back in 1998, I was a bicycle courier, just every day, riding to and from town, 100 k's a day around the city, still in that mega k's, and eventually, I did no stretching, I said, hey, no, stretching is for fucking weaklings, mate, just get up and fucking ride, ride, eat, sleep, stretch, fuck that, so eventually, my whole inference is getting tighter and tighter and tighter, no, no release, no stretching, and... I was riding along one day and the pain was so great. The pain built up over a few weeks and I just ignored it, you know. <laughs> and uh, just got so great I couldn't actually, I had to pedal with one leg back to the base and so I'm, I'm, I'm done. And so I booked into a uh, sports med, which is called Porsche med, because so many people drive Porsches there, it makes so much cash, big turnover. And we went in there, got the booking done, and they booked me in for an orthopedic surgeon. And I was like, oh, I just got a sore knee, you know. So I went in there and this orthopedic surgeon guy, and he's like, um, sort of like touch my knee for like maybe 20 seconds. He goes, yeah, we'll book you in uh, for a arthroscopy. And he turns his back and he's looking for his book. He goes, what, so what's a good day for you, mate? And I said, arthroscopy, what's that? And he goes, oh, we, we cut you open and put a camera in just so, you know, clean up and just you know, do some things. And I'm like, surgery? He goes, yeah, surgery. What day works for you? No, 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 but, I, no, 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 but dude, like, I just got, I've just got a sore knee. You know, like I said, this is my exact words. This is one of the, be the best orthopedic surgeons around. In South Australia, I said, "If you were in my, if you were me, what would you do?" And he goes, "Hmm, I'll probably go downstairs and see uh, Susan Everett, the, the physio, and maybe get some stretches or something." And I'm like, "Well, I'm going to go and do that." I had to ask. It's, and then so when I went out in the the uh, waiting room reception, she goes, "Yeah, it's 150 dollars or whatever it was." I said, "I'm not paying that. I'm not paying that." And just walked out, and that was it. They sent me a letter. Oh, Mr. Johnston, you're right. And said, "I'll vote back." That's fucking bullshit. I ain't paying it. And I never heard from him again. Went downstairs, saw Susan Everett, told her what the dude upstairs said, and she's just like, uh, just like rolling her eyes. It's just like, I can't fucking believe he said that. And then she goes, she just starts poking me in the leg. And I'm like, ah. Oh. And she's like, you don't fucking stretch, do you? I said, no, I don't. She goes, all right, lay on the ground, which is to show some stretches. She also gave me a cord uh, got me a cortisone shot, which isn't really a good idea. Cortisone is very popular in cycling and running. Cortisone injections, because it strips the fat off you, leans you right out, it's, it's like a bit of a stimulant, and you don't feel pain as much. So cortisone is a totally legal drug. It's so prevalent in cycling, running, swimming. It is incredible drug, cortisone. Cortisone injections are like insane. But again, that can be bad for car it's bad for your body in general. They can fuck up your endogenous cortisone levels. So, But cortisone is so popular in weight loss. It's incredible but it's fucking bad. So it's like it's like a credit card. You get your results now, but you're going to be paying later. Uh, look at Yarn Ulrich now. So we have uh, ITB issues there. Uh, what to do about it? Make sure, and how's my ITB now? No worries, because I stretch. I look after myself. And make sure with your cleats on your bike, if you, if you stand, you basically want to look at yourself standing. If you stand with your heels out like that, when you just relax, then set your cleats up like that. But if you stand naturally with your heels in, like I do, like most people do, you want to be pedaling with your heels in. It's a bit hard to show you, but you want to be pedaling with your heels in. This is what I mean, heels in. See my heels almost touching the crank? Heels out, that's how I used to have it, like that, because my cleat had slipped and I didn't even notice it. Heel in, that's what I do, heels in. Because I normally stand, my, if that's a the line there, my heels normally in like that. That's how I stand normally. Some people stand like that, pigeon foot, but I'm like that. So that's how I ride my bike as well. Heels in. Be mindful of it. Heels in. Heels in. Not out. Heels in. Versus out. Have a look. Have a look at your setup. Just, just sort of look at the ceiling, sort of, and then you sort of like look down at your feet and you go, okay, oh, my heels are in. That's how your cycling shoes want to be in. They want to be in. You want to have your heels in. So you adjust your cleats so the heels in. Your heel wants to be almost brushing your crank really if you have tight ITB. Have a look at your setup, check it out, and then get a liquid paper pen and mark it around. I will 
give another tip would be the roller. These are little sticks. You can just use a piece. You don't need a fancy little plastic thing for 180 bucks. You can just use a, a, a end of a broomstick and just roll. I'll show you. I'll show you what I mean. Just roll, roll that, roll it out. You don't have to hurt the muscle to help the muscle, but just roll out. I roll my legs most nights. Self massage is good. Another good stretch is quad stretch. Just look it up. I want to list down below of homework what you need to do, and it's this is a simple shit. This is like 30 seconds a day, no more ITV issues. If you do have ITV pain right now, I would say have some time off. Don't train on it. Do not train on sore ITV. You can do cortisone, you can do anti inflammatories, and you can still train, but you're going to be training through pain and you're going to do yourself some more damage. So I would recommend. No drugs, no training, and we'll just do something else. Do some bench press or whatever. Just, just have a break. Have a break and get your setups sorted out. And always when you get a bike setup done, mark your seat height. Mark your seat height. So that's what I've learned from my ITV issues. I don't have it anymore. I've done, you know, I can do 6,500 kilometers in a week with no pain at all. I can do 2,000. I can run a 248 marathon with 10 miles a week training with no ITV issues because I stretch. A little, you know, 30 seconds a day, roll it out, mindful of where my cleats are and where my feet sit, and things like that. And I also don't wear any fashion footwear. I don't wear any fashion footwear. All my footwear is a cycling shoe or my runners. You know, I don't have any fashion footwear that I couldn't run a marathon in. So get rid of you with your fashion footwear, stretch. I'll put down in the description text what I would recommend with ITB. It's a very common injury, probably the most common injury people get once their fitness level goes up. Once the fitness level starts going up, ITB, probably number one injury, but it's very easily prevented, very easily cured. I'll post down below. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments and questions down below. ITB issues. I'm doing another quick story. I had a friend who also went to the, the Porsche Med clinic. <laughs> it's incredible, man. If you go to, it's in, it's, it's, it, it, there's a big assumption. If you go to someone, you're going to get the, the honest truth advice. That's a big assumption in the world. Well, I'm a professional, I study at university, and I've got this degree, and I'm a doctor, surgeon, whatever. There's a big assumption that person is going to be legit and not try and just fuck you over or whatever, or just try and go, well, this is what I do. I want money from you because my Porsche broke a window on the weekend because the stripper I was fucking, she slipped up on her Zanax, and, Zanax and we, we broke something, so I need to fix that. There's a big assumption that that doesn't go on, but it does fucking go on. And another story is that my friend was, uh, he had a knee problem. And we're out riding, he's like, oh, fucking knees problem, you know? And I'm like, dude, like, why do you have one of your shoes, your heels out like that, and the other one's like that? And he's like, I don't know. And I'm like, no one's, the, 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 the fucking, the medical degree fucking physicist, actually physicist, surgeon, or whatever, couldn't point that out, that you're actually pedaling like that, like a dog with a broken leg. So what we did is we checked the cleat, looked like it slipped. So we moved it back in, put a liquid paper mark around it, and he's like, oh, yeah, it feels better. Because what happens when you're clicking out all the time, your cleats sometimes slip, the, the bolts slip. So make sure you do your bolts up, check them every now and then, make sure you have a little paper mark around there. So if it slips, you go, oh, put it back. They don't teach that at fucking uni. They don't fucking teach that at university. You can study whatever the fuck you want to study at university, they will not teach a real world thing like that because that's not part of the industry. It's not part of the economics, man. Injured people is money. Injured people is money. Right? So you don't, you're not going to get to university and learn how to pedal properly. How you line your cleats up, things like that. So that's just a simple tip. So we had Duran Rider, the dude who stayed out and smoked bongs every day in year 12 and failed year 12, had better advice to give my friend for free than whatever he was paying thousands of dollars or whatever to the, the top sports people in uh, South Australia. So that's just a little lesson there that the advice you get from the, the qualified people, what the fuck does it really mean? What does the fuck it really mean? So always ask questions, have an open mind, have an open eye, and don't forget the best qualifications, the, the qualifications that matter most to me is life fucking experience. That's the best qualification. Universities life, schools in session, fucking pay attention.